Hey, this will be a video chart on KATX. Done this one quite a few times. It has been uh, probably about a week and a half since the last time I did it. I think I did it uh, on one of these days over here. Not quite sure, uh, but I had a bunch of requests for it today come in. So I want to get the chart updated here as it definitely uh, does need uh, an update in here with today's uh, move. And, um, you know, let's just get started. So first things first, from the daily chart perspective, uh, the chart's still hanging in there. Um, now, if you're a day trader and you bought up here or something like that, then yeah, the chart's not looking too good for you. Uh, but I know a lot of people are in this for the longer term, so they, uh, you know, care about the daily chart. And today acted actually um, pretty strong uh, relative from daily chart perspective. What I mean by that is uh, you see this purple line here. This is the 50 day slip moving average from a technical analysis standpoint. Uh, this is one of these levels that you always want to see strength. You don't want to see the price crash through it or anything like that. And today, Right there, the power of charts. Price came down. Uh, looks like there's quite a few people sitting down here and uh, picked up some shares right there. And the price held. So it was good to see that the 50 day simple moving average was able to provide, to, uh, provide support. Um, and remember what support is support is just people sitting there willing to buy shares. So it would have been a very bad sign if the price just, uh, you know, came down here and then just crashed through here and we got to close down in this area because that would show that nobody was willing to buy at this key area of support but that wasn't the case uh, there were people here we got a little little bounce there and uh, hopefully now the rest of this week uh, the chart can start to recover so with that being said uh, the key support levels kind of already touched on that but uh, the main one that we you know you don't want to see fall is right there uh, the 50 day cent moving average you can see that it's been quite a long time since the price has fallen below it uh, if you look you know back here price came down bounced off of it came down here fell below it but never really separated from it same thing here hovered right around it so since uh, essentially back here in November when this move came right here uh, the price has never pulled away from the 50 day simple moving average like I said uh, in this area of the chart yes the price did go below it but it never pulled away and what I mean by pull away is it never just kept going down 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 uh, it did go below it, but then it started to go sideways so um, that is a very key moving average and once again like I said it was good to see that uh, it held up strong today while being tested uh, but going forward um, you know we, we want to see history continue to repeat itself and for the 50 day uh, to remain strong now if the 50 day doesn't hold uh, the next area of support is gonna be uh, this high from over there let me get that line drawn Uh, changes to green for support. So this level here at uh, uh, 0.092 would be the next support. So if the 50-day can't hold and you start to get some separation from it, you know I'm looking for the next price target to be right down here, because like I said, this was a previous high, so it was a resistance. You can see that when it was broken, it came back here, back tested, showed as support, and then the price took off. Uh, but so far, so good with the 50-day uh, holding strong. The other rough thing about today was the volume. Uh, it's looking like uh, you know it was probably just some normal profit taking, and then some panic selling hit it. I don't know if the company was selling; I have no idea. Uh, but bottom line, a lot of selling today, as can be seen by uh, the big candle. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know all the selling, and yet the 50-day was still able to hold a support. So if there's anything positive to take from today, that would be it. That despite all this downwards pressure on the stock, uh, this key moving average. Uh, was able to stand up and still be able to hold and uh, you know provide support so going forward uh, you know hopefully we'll just see some sideways action here we don't want to see the 50-day uh, fall because uh, like I said earlier in the video um, history has shown that since November uh, this had the price has essentially been able to hold above this level so hopefully uh, that remains the case going forward if there are any other questions on the chart please let me know if not I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com if you go there and sign up for the free newsletter you'll be sent a free ebook and with your newsletter subscription, you get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety, something for everybody, and it's all free. So it's worth at least signing up, uh, checking out. We've been making some good money together. So I'd encourage you to head to the website and see what it's all about. One more time, this was KATX. Thanks for listening.